And this is just for you to understand. And here is the problem, because we're going the opposite way. So if we see this, and we go frame by frame, because this is polished, right? The distance between those two frames, compared to those two, it feels like it has more space here, then it has less, then it has more again. You see this here to here, here to here, and then here to here. So this feels like it's a spacing, and this feels like it's slowed down. This feels like it's accelerating. So here, if we go back to the animator survival kit, remember when there's like a coin, and then Richard Williams is talking about a slow in and a slow out. So basically what's happening here, every frame, you need to look to the frame before and the frame after. So the frame, they always needs to make sense with the before frame and the after frame. So this frame, if I'm accelerating, so there, if there's acceleration going towards the right side, so the frame after should have more space, so more space, than the frame before. Frame before should have less space. Okay. And if the next one, there's even more acceleration, that means that this space here has to be lower, this has to be lower, lower than this. If you start slowing down, that's when it's going to be the opposite, where the other frame is going to be bigger, etc. What is happening on yours here? We have we have this frame with a spacing that feels like it's on a, let's say like it's a constant speed. Then you slow down because this one, it's smaller compared to this one. That means that the next frame projected, if we need to think about how the next frame would be, it would have to be even smaller because you're slowing down. Mm -hmm. And then you start getting the spacing bigger because you're accelerating. Right now what's happening is you have a big spacing and then a small spacing and then a big spacing again and then an even bigger spacing. So this looks like a, not a pop, but it's like it doesn't look clean. And that's where the okay. polish, that's where we get the polish and you, we get the same trajectory and we actually fix that space. So if I want to make accelerating, I would make this more, less, more, 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 less, less. And that will be similar to the Richard Williams in Mirror Survival Kit, where accelerating and then decelerating. And then when you get to here, that's the main issue. Because you have this frame to this frame, a very big spacing compared to the previous frames. Then you have this to this, losing speed, which is good. But the next frame compared to this two, it should be like at least half of this one. And actually, no, it's hitting, and that's the famous hitting a wall. Because you're actually okay. going on the opposite direction, but without any saddle. So without any slow in. So this actually should be here, and the next frame should be slowing down until you can reverse this to saddle, not hit a wall, and then go back in. And you have the you have the timing in there. It's just a matter of putting the spacing. I know it's like a lot of theory, but it's just a matter of getting the spacing there. And when you do that, I just track the nose. But if you do that, you need to think about that on every body part. For example, if we look at the chest, the chest is better because you do have, and I like tracking the edge so I can see the silhouettes. And then here's where you hit. But you have a slowdown. You're slowing, slowing. If this frame were here, let me put in yellow. If this frame were here, and then this frame were here, and then you had a frame here, and this frame here where you have, that will be perfect. And then you can go back to the other side. 